Here I am creating a tutorial for Let It Go on the violin. I am using a half size instrument because it has tapes on it. My professional violin does not have tapes on it. So um, this one actually has four tapes. Some people's violins might have three tapes. Okay, so your first finger goes down here, which is toward the uh, scroll of the instrument. So there's one. Here's your second finger where it needs to go on the second tape. Third tape and then fourth finger for fourth tape eventually which I don't think this, this song doesn't even require any fourth finger notes, so that's okay. You don't even need to use that one in this song. But um, I'm trying to show that you can see right here where to put your fingers at. First finger tape, second finger tape, third finger tape, etc. Um, the goal here is that we're trying to make all the fingers high enough on the tapes so it does not sound out of tune. So the first note of Let It Go is an E on the D string. So that'd be your first finger on the D string, and it should sound like this. So play that along with me, an E. F sharp needs to be the second finger on the D string. It needs to be higher, so that way it's an F sharp. Okay, good. So here's the beginning of uh, Let It Go. I'm going to play a section, and I'm going to have you repeat that section after me. Now you play. Here's the next section. Now make sure to have your third finger above the third tape on the G string to make a C sharp. So you need to have your third finger above the third tape on the G string for a C sharp, and then you need to have your second finger on the second tape of the G string for a B. So here's that section again that I just played, so you can repeat after me. Not a footprint to be seen. That area. Now you play it. Okay, and now here's the next section. Make sure your F sharps are high enough and play after me. Play after me. Here's the next section. Repeat. Here's the next section. And repeat. Here's the next section. Couldn't keep it in. Play. Here's the next section. Heaven knows I've tried. And play it. Here's the next section. Okay, make sure your first finger on the e, D string, the E, is high enough. And make sure your first finger on the A is high enough for the B. Here again, here's what it sounds like. And you repeat. Here's the next section. And repeat it. Here's the next section, it goes to B. That's the two C sharps. Play the two C sharps. Here's the next section. Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know. Make sure your E's and your B's are also high enough on the D string and the A string. And repeat. 
repeat that. And here's the next section. Well, now they know. And repeat it. Here's the next section. Let it go. B, C sharp, D. And play that. Here's the next section. Let it go. And repeat that. Next section. Can't hold it back anymore. Make sure your C sharps are high enough and your D's are also high enough. So the third finger on the A string needs to be higher. And repeat that. Okay, the next section, let it go. B, C sharp, D. And repeat. Next section, let it go. And repeat it. Turn away. Make sure on the turn away you have your D higher. So your um, D needs to be right on the third tape. And repeat that. The next section says, and slam the door. Make sure you're doing a low second finger for the G. This is a G natural and not a G sharp. So first it goes F sharp, G natural, which is gonna be a low second finger. Then an F sharp, open E, D, which is third finger on the A string, open E, and then D, which is third finger on the A string again. So here's what that sounds like, and slam the door. Again, here's what it sounds like. And play that after me. Next section, I don't care. Make sure your first finger F sharp is higher. So the first finger on the E string needs to be high enough to make an F sharp. And repeat that. Next section, what they're going to say. Make sure your third finger on the A string is high enough for a D. And repeat it. Let the storm rage on. D, D, C sharp, A, A. Repeat that. Next section. The cold never bothered me anyway. So now I got a G. Make sure you're, you're um, G and your F sharp are higher. G is third finger on the D string and F sharp is second finger. Second and third fingers are very close together, so it's not a big gap, so it's not like this, because that would be out of tune. They need to be like this, very close. G, F sharp, G, G, F sharp, G, G, F sharp, like that. So they're very close, they're almost on top of each other. The cold never bothered me anyway. And of course, repeat that. So I hope this instructional video helped you. Make sure to have all of your fingers a little bit higher. They all seem like a lot of your notes are going too flat, meaning that it's like below the tapes like this, and they need to go up a little bit higher on the tape, especially your D or third finger, um, the high D on the A string. And then whenever you're doing a C sharp, that is a little bit odd because a C sharp is actually above the uh, third tape on the G string. So your uh, third tape on the G string, it needs to be a little bit above it toward the beginning of the song where it has that accidental C sharp that looks like a hashtag. So at the beginning of the song, make sure that your third finger's above the, the uh, third um, tape to make a C sharp toward the beginning of the song. 
Um, and I'm also going to send a little um, CD along with this so that way you can hear it more to uh, practice at home. Oh, by the way, let me go ahead and uh, play the whole thing without so many stops. I made this version so you could actually like play a section and then repeat after me. Of course, I'm looking at the music online, so um, I'm going to have to turn some pages every now and then. Here's the beginning um, going straight through it. Starting on page two here. starting page four. And make sure to practice a lot. You can do it. Bye.